Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're gonna talk about rotations. And we're gonna see how we have these many different shapes here on this page, how we can rotate them using some tracing paper. Now, if you don't have tracing paper, you could just use another piece of paper, um, hopefully one that you can kind of see through that you'll be able to use during this process. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can rotate this image. So looking here at the very first one, they want us to take this image and they want us to rotate it clockwise 180 degrees, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my tracing paper, I'm gonna lay it right over it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trace that same object over on my tracing paper so I end up with an exact copy of it. So take some time, you really wanna make sure you're drawing it out exactly right so that you end up with the exact same shape but now on your tracing paper. So whenever you are rotating uh, an object or a graph or a line, whatever it is, you're actually rotating around a point. And we see here on our original uh, shape here, that is the point that we wanna rotate around. So how we do this is that I put my tracing paper right exactly over it, right right on top of it, so I can see it laying on each, on each other. Then to do the rotation, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pen a tip or the tip of my pencil, I'm going to put it on that point there. And when it's on the point, I'm now able to move my tracing paper around and do rotations around that point. We see that that point there isn't changing from my original to my image, but I'm able now to make this rotation. Now it's at 180 degrees clockwise. That means one turn here, would bring me to 90 degrees, right? And then another turn is going to bring me to 180 degrees, okay? If I want one other turn, right, three turns, that would be 270 degrees. And then last but not least, if we go all the way around, that would be 360 degrees. All right, but we just want it to be at 180, that's where my shape ends up. Now, how I need to use my tracing paper now is now I just need to sort of lift this up and go ahead and mark where the points should be. So I see that one of these points ends up right here. Let's see, perfect. The other one is over here. And you're just gonna kind of keep lifting it up and over and figuring out where your points are for the new shape so that you'll be able to connect them and recreate your shape. All right, looks like I just need one more there. And now I just connect those dots and I can see that I have rotated this shape 180 degrees clockwise. Now again, when we do rotations, translations, or reflections, remember that we're not changing the size of the shape. All we're doing is changing the orientation of the shape. So that is how we do a 180 degrees um, rotation around that point for this shape. Hopefully this is a great little tutorial for you and you'll be able to do the rest of those problems. Alright guys, it's That Math Magician and I'll see you next time.